If this video is helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So I have created a new React.js project using Create React app and I have removed all the boilerplate code or unbounded files. Then I have run the code. You can see the project here. So next I am going to take the chat GPT website and here I am going to click on this first link. Then here I am going to type that is give me code for React.js functional component for creating a to-do app. Then next I am going to click on the send message. Okay, so now the chat GPT will give complete code. Okay, so next I am going to do is to copy this code from here and to create a new folder called components. And in that components folder, I am going to create a new file that is to do app.js. After that, I am going to call the to do app component in this app.js as like this way. So now you can see the to do app here. So next, I am going to Type as give me a better design. Then I have clicked the send message. So next you can see that they will they have given a new code, a new complete code. So I am going to first copy this code of JS file and I am going to paste it in the to do app.js component. Then next day I am going to create a new file called to do app.css. And in this to do app.css file, I am going to copy and paste this style as like this way so now you can see that the structure of our to do app okay here is the to do app so i am going to add to do's as like this way we can add to do's as like this the next we can delete the next i am going to send a message that is add edit functionality so i am going to send a message here you can see that they are giving complete code again by adding edit button or edit functionality okay so next i am going to do it to copy the code from here and to paste it in the to do app.js file okay so now you can see the structure or to do app as like this way so now, now i am going to add to do then after that i am going to edit to do as like this way okay then we can save the edit okay so this is to do app so next i am going to do is to take the new chat and here i am going to type as give me the code for React.js functional component for creating a calculator. Okay. The next I am going to click on the send message. And here you can see that we will get the complete code as like this way. So next I am going to copy the code from here. After that I am going to create a new component that is calculator calculator.js then next i am going to paste the code as like this way so now you can see that i am going to command this to do app and i am going to call the calculator in this app.js so now you can see the calculator as like this way so next i am going to do is i am going to send a message that is give a good design And I'm going to click, click on the send message. So now you can see that the design will be here. So next I'm going to copy the style. And I'm going to create a new file that is calculator.css. And I'm going to paste the code here. So next I'm going to import the calculator.css here. In this calculator.js file so now you can see the structure as like this way so we can add we can calculate here as like this way so next 
you can see that uh, here there is no clear button so i am going to send a new message that is add clear functionality okay so then i click send a message and here you can see that the code after adding the clear functionality so next i am going to copy this code and i am going to paste it here okay so here i am going to add import calculator dot css so now you can see that here is the clear button so this is the functionality okay fine so next i am going to do is to take the new chat and here i am going to type as give a code for react.js functional component for creating a tic tac app so next i am going to click on the send message here you can see that the complete code is like this way so next i am going to copy this code from here and to create a new component so in the components folder i am going to create a new component that is tic tac Dow.js and here I am going to copy the code. The next step, I am going to call the tic tac toe component here as like this way, and I am going to comment the calculator. So here is the structure. Next, step, I am going to do is to send a message for better design. Then I am going to click on the send message, and here you can see that. We will get the entire code again with the style. Okay. So, first of all, I am going to copy the JS file and next I am going to paste it here. After that, I am going to Create a new component that is tic tac toe.css. And next, I'm going to copy this style from here. And I'm going to paste it here as like this way. So now you can see that the structure is like this. So here we can play as like this way. It will show the winner X as like this. Okay. Next, I'm going to do is to send a message for adding a reset functionality so we will get the entire code again by adding the reset functionality okay so next i am going to copy this code of js file and i am going to paste it in the tic tac toe.js component as like this so now you can see the structure as like this here there is a reset button also so now we can play a slide this way so here you can see that it's a draw okay so next i'm going to do is to take the new chat and here i am going to send the message that is give a code of react js functional component for creating a vacuum or game okay so next i am going to click on the send the message vacuum all game with the style and here you can see that the entire code of vacuum all game the js file so after that i am going to send a message for for style that is give the style so now you will get the style file only so i am going to copy this js file and to create a new component that is vacuum all dot js as like this way and i'm going to paste that entire code in this component okay next i'm going to create a new file that is vacamol.css as like this way and after that i'm going to copy the code of style from here and to paste into this file as like this way so now you can see that this is a structure next i am going to call the vacuum mall component in this app.js by commanding tiktok tic tac toe okay so now you can see that here is the 
whack a mole game. Okay, so we can play as like this way. Here it is showing the score. The next time I'm going to send a message for adding the timer button or time limit. So I click on send a message. Here you can see that the entire code by adding the timer button or time limit. It's like this way. So now I am going to copy the entire code and to paste it in the vacamol.js file. As like this way. So now you can see that here is the start game button and also time left or time limit is showing. So now you can play as like this way. So next I am going to do is I am going to install the React Router DOM into our project. So I am going to type as or I am going to run the command npm install react router dom. So now the react router dom will be installed into our project. Okay, so react router dom has been installed into our project. We can see it in the package.json. Okay, so next I am going to do is to take the index.js file and here I am going to import the browser router component from the react router dom and i am going to wrap the app component using the browser router as like this way so next i am going to do is to take the app component and inside this app component first of all i am going to do is i am going to import the routes component from the react router dom and i am going to give route for each component so first of all i am going to give the route that is i am going to give the path that is to do for the to do component as like this way to do app then next i am going to copy this route as like this way from here and to paste it at paste it at like this way so next i am going to do is i am going to give the route for home component so i am going to define a new component that is home.js and here This is a home component. So next I'm going to do is to give the calculator route. I have imported calculator. The next I'm going to do is to give the route to for tic tac toe game. Import the tic tac toe component. And next I'm going to give back a mold component route okay after giving this route next i'm going to do is i'm going to here you can see that this is a home component next i'm going to take a new chat and here i'm going to send a message that is give me code of react.js functional component for creating a home component with the buttons okay so i'm going to click on the send message and here you can see that the complete code for creating a home page with buttons so next i'm going to copy this code from here and to paste it in this home.js file okay so next i'm going to remove this and to make it as home okay so now you can see that this structure as like this way so i'm going to send a message for this style for better design so i am going to click on send a message and you can see that here is the style and the code of js file so i am going to copy the js file from here first and i am going to paste it in this component and after that i am going to create a new file that is home.css so i am going to give home here so i have imported the home.css so I am going to create a new component or new file that is home.css. Okay, so next I am going to do is to copy this code of style from here and to paste it in this home.css file. And next you can see that this is a structure of our home page. Here you can see the buttons. So I am going to change the name of the button that is I am going to give as to do calculator. Then tic tac toe. And at last, I'm going to give as 
vacuum all so for that i am going to copy and paste a button from here and i am going to give the vacuum all here so next i am going to do is here you can see that there is four function handle button click so i am going to copy and paste this this function and i am going to do to change the name as handle button click 1 2 3 and 4 so here i am going to do is i am going to import or use the use navigate hook from the react router dom and i am going to assign it to the navigate variable as like this way so next i am going to use this navigate variable inside each button or each function so here i am going to give as to do and in the second function i am going to give as calculator and in the third function i am going to give as tic tac and in the fourth function i am going to give as mold okay here tic tac and here as mold so we have given navigate so here i am going to change the function name that is 1 2 3 and 4 so now you can see that here is the name of the button so so i am going to send a message for a better design so i am going to send a change color combination as like this way so now we will get the so we get the two designs so i am going to select one of the design or copy the code and paste it here so now you can see the structure as like this way okay fine so here you can see that when we click this button we will be redirected to this each section each game that is vacuum all tic tac toe calculator and to do etc okay fine so next i am going to host our website so for that i am going to take the firebase I'm going to click on this link and next I'm going to click on get started button after that we have to create a new project in firebase so I'm going to give the name of the project as chat GPT app after that I'm going to click on continue button then next I'm going to disable analytics section and I'm going to click on create project so now a new project is created I'm going to click on continue then we will be redirected to the console so in the sidebar you can see that there's a build option from there i am going to click on this hosting so then next i am going to click on this get started button so at that time you can see that i am going to install the firebase tools for that i am going to copy the command and to run the command in our project so here you can see that firebase tools will be installed it is installed next i am going to give as npm run build so we have to build it is very important so next after that i am going to click on next button so here you can see that firebase login so i am going to run the command it will show the mail id that we have logged in into the firebase next i am going to copy this firebase in it and run the command here they will ask some questions so first are you ready to proceed i am giving yes the next i am going to select this hosting configure files for firebase hosting and this github optionally so next i am going to click on space and enter so here i am going to select the use an existing project we have already created a project so i am going to click on enter then you can see that after that we have to select the name of our project so here it is chat gpt dot app so i am going to click on enter then you can see that what we have to select for as the public directory so we have build so i am going to give as build so next i am going to give enter for cup next to full questions so here you can see that firebase initialization complete so after that i am going to click on the next button here and i am going to copy and run this firebase deploy here so now you can see that the deployment will take place here deploying hosting so at that time you can see that at last here is our url of our website okay so you can see that this is our project here is you can see the website url as like this way so next day i am going to click on this each button and we will be redirected to these sections okay
If this video is helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel.